Hello, welcome. In this short video, I will demonstrate that that the regular the solution to minimization of a regularized sum of squares error function will consist of only the kernel function. Or in other words, the feature vectors or the feature space is only mapped in terms of the kernel function. So let us define the terms. We are looking at a we are looking at a linear model t of x equals phi w transpose phi of x where phi of x is a nonlinear feature function where phi of x is a nonlinear transformation of the feature vector x and error e so our goal is to minimize this error e and with the condition that w transpose w is equal to 1 so the function can be written as the optimization function can be written as determine the vector w that minimizes the sum of square sum of the square errors that is phi so w transpose phi of x n minus t n where phi of x xn and t n are the samples and labels respectively such that w transpose w is equal to 1 so this is the optimization function with this for the normalization constraint on the weight vector w. So Tn is a list of labels that is either ones or minus ones for the binary classification problem. Phi of xn is the nonlinear feature transformation function. Feature transform function. And our goal is to determine the our goal is to determine the prediction function that is y of x and y of xm which is in the form w transpose phi of xm. So first we have to find the weight vector w it can be determined by uh, minimizing this cost function. So in order to do that we write the dual form of the cost function that is j of w comma lambda where lambda is the Lagrange multiplier. The first term is the sum of the square errors n equal to 1 to n w transpose phi of x n minus t n whole square plus lambda by 2 w transpose w. This is the constraint. Well, this is the constraint part of the uh, Lagrange form of the cost function or optimization function. So by differentiating this cost function with respect to w that is grade w we get half of 2 times summation n equal to 1 to n since w is independent of n we can do this w transpose phi of x n minus t n and then we have the product w transpose phi of x n and its the gradient is phi of x n plus lambda by 2 w that is the gradient of w transpose w is w this equals 0 so the solution can be written in the form w is equal to minus 1 by lambda and 2 i'm sorry there should be another 2 so there should be i mean the gradient of w transpose w is 2 times w so this is lambda w so w will have a form minus 1 by lambda and this 2 will cancel out with this 2 so we have w, the summation n equal to 1 to n w transpose phi of x n minus t n. If you observe carefully, this is a scalar. And then we have the vector phi of x n. So basically, w is a linear combination of the nonlinear feature transformation functions. That is, we can write it as w is equal to summation n equal to 1 to n a n phi of x n. Note that a n is still a function of w, but since, but however, w is still, is just a linear combination of uh, the phi of x n, where a n are scalars. Now, substituting this function back in the prediction function y of x m, we get y of x m equals summation n equal to one to n a n phi of x n whole transpose phi of x m which is equal to 
summation n equal to 1 to n a n phi transpose x7 into phi of x m. But if you remember the definition of the kernel function, which is defined as x n comma x m equal to the function phi of x n comma phi of x n, the dot product basically, which is also equal to phi transpose x n into phi term phi of just phi of x m. Hence, the final prediction function y of x m equal to summation a n equal to 1 to n a n k of that is the kernel function x n comma x m. So, hence the final prediction function is always a function of the kernel function which is just a, a dot product of the two of the uh, nonlinear transformation function of the feature vector that is a nonlinear feature transformation function. Thanks for watching.